Indeed, we sent Noah to his people, and he remained among them for a thousand years, less fifty. Then the flood overtook them. While they persisted in wrongdoing, Imagine such a hurricane. It even uproots huge trees. This is such a hurricane that it takes away everything that lives and moves. The plains are covered with water and rise up to the peaks of the mountains. There is a magnificent ship on the waters, which seems like a miracle to have been built by man. So, will this ship be enough to save them in the storm? No. The real thing that will save those on that ship is the faith and love of God in their hearts. Who is their captain? Prophet Noah lived for 950 years. This tall, long-bearded man. He has his eyes fixed on the horizon and is confident that he will be able to survive this terrible hurricane. There are not only 80 believers on this ship, but also many different animal species and various plants. And every believer on the ship prays for this flood to end. The flood is mentioned in the Quran as follows. But we delivered him and those in the ark, making it a sign for all people. Surah al ankabut 15. Prophet Noah was at the helm of the ship, and his lost son and wife were on his mind. There is great pain in his heart. He tried hard to convince his son. However, his son did not listen to his father and said, I will take refuge on a mountain, which will protect me from the water. Noah cried, Today no one is protected from Allah's decree, except those to whom he shows mercy. Surah Hud, 43. Before Noah finishes his words, a large wave comes between him and his son and takes him away. Thus, by following the soul and Satan, he will be punished in this world for his stubbornness and disbelief. This event, which we read about in the Surah Hud in the Quran, is explained in many parts of the world and becomes a source of lesson. His call to his people to believe in God for 950 years and the miracle of the Great Flood are mentioned in the narratives of many nations, from Scandinavia to Australia, from the Incas to the Indians. The Flood has been mentioned in the Epic of Atrahasis, the Epic of Gilgamesh, the Torah and the Quran over a period of 5,000 years. It is estimated to have occurred around 2900 BC, in the early days of the Bronze Age. There is information about the Flood based on scientific and historical documents written on Sumerian and Babylonian tablets, even though the heroes are called by different names. In addition, the information on these tablets is compatible with the information in the Quran and Torah. The fact that the Flood is mentioned in historical sources, myths and sacred texts is evidence that it is real. It is thought that Prophet Noah was born in the fertile lands of Mesopotamia between the Euphrates and Tigris rivers. When the Quran tells Noah's age, it says 50 less than a thousand. In other words, it is known that he lived for 950 years. The Prophet Noah is a descendant of the Prophet Sid, one of the children of the Prophet Adam and Eve. His life comes to the fore in the Quran with his struggle for monotheism against his people, the ship he built, and the flood. Noah means to cry, to be sad, to shed tears. And Noah is not his real name, but his pseudonym and nickname. Noah's people and family said this because they upset him with their denial. There is an estimated period of ten centuries between Prophet Noah, who is known as the second father of humanity, and Prophet Adam. Ulul Aziem, that is, the highest rank, is known as one of the most important prophets. 
Noah, who was sent to the society as a prophet, promises to believe in Allah Almighty, to obey His commands, and to invite everyone to do so until the end of his life. Just as it is mentioned in the Al-Araf Ayat 59, We had certainly sent Noah to his people, and he said, O oh my people, worship Allah. You have no deity other than Him. Indeed, I fear for you the punishment of a tremendous day. In the Bible, this situation is described as follows. As it was in the days of Noah, so it will be at the coming of the Son of Man. For in the days before the flood, people were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, up to the day Noah entered the ark, and they knew nothing about what would happen until the flood came and took them all away. So why was Noah's mission so difficult? Think about that society, an immense wealth, fertile lands that seemed to have no end, and a deep sleep of heedlessness resulting from them. During the time of the first man, Prophet Adam, the earth came to life and the human generation increased. After Prophet Idris, people worshipped by following his Sharia and takes care to follow the path of righteous scholars, but we are all mortal. When scholars gradually leave the world, humanity falls into a void. Under the influence of Satan, they make statues of these deceased scholars to keep their memories alive and to respect their memories, but these statues are deified over time. In the Quran, it is said in the Surah Nuh Ayat 23, and said, Never leave your gods, and never leave Wad or Sua or Yaguth and Yauk and Nasr. These five names are probably the names of righteous people who lived in their time, and there is even a possibility that they were prophets who lived in their time. But then, so that the names of the people they value are not forgotten, they associate them with a place, and they make idols in the places they associate them with. In other words, over time, they turn into idols. And Prophet Noah is then sent to this nation. Thus, for the first time on earth, people began to worship gods other than Allah and associate others with Him. In this geography, these people, spoiled by wealth and prosperity, gain strength from each other and begin to commit all kinds of sins without hesitation. Rich people know no limits in luxury and entertainment. Despite all this wealth and waste, wealthy people do not help the poor and needy. As if all this were not enough, they threaten to stone Prophet Noah. In the midst of all these distortions, Prophet Noah explains God to his people day and night. Prophet Noah tells them that the idols they take as gods will not be of any use. He has no demands in return for what he has done. He only expresses God's commands and continues his invitation. He said, My Lord, indeed I invited my people to truth night and day, but my invitation increased them not except in flight. Surah Nu 5 6. Because those who believed in Prophet Noah were the poor part of the society. Therefore, they did not want to believe, and they even advised Noah to expel them, the poor. The Quran explains this situation as follows. And O oh my people, I do not demand from you any wealth for it. My reward is with none but Allah, and I am not the one who could drive the believers away. Surah Hud 29 When Prophet Noah explained the unity of Allah, both his son and his wife did not believe him. This situation is explained in the Quran as follows. Allah sets forth an example for the disbelievers, the wife of Noah and the wife of Lot. Each was married to one of our righteous servants, yet betrayed them. One, so their husbands were of no benefit to them against Allah whatsoever. Both were told, Enter the fire along with the others. Surah at tarim 10 Despite this, Noah remains patient until the end. His wife betrays him, his son denies it, and continues to endure patiently for 950 years. And it is reported that only 80 people believed in him. According to the Bible, it is understood from the sentence that those who survived the flood were eight people, including Noah. If he did not spare the ancient world, but preserved Noah, a herald of righteousness, with seven others, 
when he brought a flood upon the world of the ungodly, 2 Petrus 2.5. According to Jewish sources, the cause of the flood is the proliferation of human beings and the disruption of order on earth. Sins and lawlessness increased on the earth, and all bodies, human beings, cattle, wild animals, and the bodies of everything that walks and flies on the earth, became dirty because of these sins. For this reason, everything started attacking each other. Everything that comes to human beings' minds has become more and more sinful. People could not think of anything other than sin. The Book of Jubilees V2. The earth became corrupt before God. The earth was filled with lawlessness. When God saw how corrupt the earth was, for all flesh had corrupted its ways on earth, God said to Noah, I have decided to put an end to all flesh, for the earth is filled with lawlessness because of them. I am about to destroy them with the earth. Genesis 6.12, 13. Make yourself an ark of gopher wood. Make it an ark with compartments and cover it inside and out with pitch. This is how you shall make it. The length of the ark shall be 300 cubits, 135 meters, its width 50 cubits, 24 meters, and its height 30 cubits, 14, 5 meters. Make an opening for daylight in the ark and terminate it within a cubit of the top. Put the entrance to the ark in its side. Make it with bottom, second, and third decks. For my part, I am about to bring the flood, waters upon the earth, to destroy all flesh under the sky in which there is breath of life. Everything on earth shall perish, but I will establish my covenant with you, and you shall enter the ark with your sons, your wife, and your sons' wives. And of all that lives, of all flesh, you shall take two of each into the ark to keep alive with you. They shall be male and female. From birds of every kind, cattle of every kind, every kind of creeping thing on earth, two of each shall come to you to stay alive. For your part, take of everything that is eaten and store it away to serve as food for you and for them. Noah did so, just as God commanded him, so he did. Genesis 6.13, 22, 20. Prophet Noah tried and struggled until the end, indeed until the end, to guide people to the right path. But there came a time when his strength ran out, and he said the following words. فَدَعَا رَبَّهُ عَنِي مَغْلُوبٌ فَانْتَسِيرٌ Quran Surah Kamar 10